This is Scott with TutorialStop.com. Today we're going to take a look at displacement maps. And let me show you what we're going to do. Here you can see the American flag here. It's all wavy. But I'm going to revert that. I originally just had a flat flag. So let's see how we can take a flag or any kind of object to make it wavy using a displacement map. First thing you see here is I have an indexed image. Let me show you what happens when you have an indexed image. If I click on filter, you'll see everything is gray. So I want to change the image mode. I'm going to go up to image, choose mode, and RGB. Now if I click on filter, you'll see all my options are there. So if you happen to run into that, it's usually because you've opened up a GIF image inside Photoshop. You just have to change it from index to RGB. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. There's my flag layer. And what I'm going to do is create another layer. I'm going to do file new, and I want this layer to be the exact same size as that flag. So I'm going to click on this little drop down here, the preset, and scroll all the way down. You can see there is the American flag. Go ahead and target that layer and click OK. So there's my new layer. It's just plain white. What I'll do now is get my gradient tool over here in the tools palette. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to launch my gradient tool. I'm going to just Usually it starts up and it's just plain black and white, but just select black and white for right now. And you can see here we just have this black to white gradient. What we're going to do is make the waves for the flag. What I'm going to do is hold down my Alt key on my keyboard and I'm going to drag out little these little color houses. And then I'll do an Alt on this white side here. So I'm just Alt dragging out these little houses. And then I can adjust these. Whoops adjust these two different lengths uh, or different widths so there's going to be a wave in the flag there's a wave there's a wave there's a wave okay I think I'll end this like right there there we go so you can make them different sizes um, just play around with it okay that looks pretty good I'm going to go ahead and click OK and then I need to make sure it's a linear gradient up here in the options just going to hold down my shift key and drag across and let go and you can see that has just been applied now we want to make this um, a little bit fuzzier um, so it's just not so black to white so I'm going to come up to filter and choose blur and Gaussian I'm just going to apply a slight blur to it maybe oh, f 6 will work and click OK just blur it out soften it up a little bit then we're going to save this. I'm going to choose File, Save As. And I think I'll just save it on my desktop and call it Displacement Mat 2. Okay, so I just save that to my desktop. We don't want to close this, we want to leave it open, so I'm just going to move it down. I did have an old displacement map open from earlier, I'll just close that. So here's my American flag. Now to make it curvy, I'm going to choose Filter, or Wavy, Distort displace and horizontal scale you want zero and vertical scale I found that 10 works pretty good but the higher the number the waiver the flag is going to be so I just click OK and then a box is going to pop up asking what map you want to map this to what displacement map and I want to choose displacement map 2 I'm going to click open as soon as I did that you see the flag became wavy but it, you, can you see how the flag was too large um, I should have made it a little bit smaller so I'm going to do a control alt z and back that up or command alt, uh, command apples and the Mac, and then I'm going to get my move tool and I'm going to do a control T or a command T on the Mac to get my free transform tool. So that again, this control T, grab this corner, but I'm going to hold down my shift and my alt key, and that's going to allow me to drag drag everything down from the center point in relation to the center point, and also keep the width and the height in proportion. So shift and alt, hold those two keys down and drag. You can see how that nicely resizes in relation to the center. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter to accept that free transform. Now I'm going to go back up and choose filter, distort, displace, 0 and 10 and feel free to play with that number if you want it wavier. Click OK. Find the displacement map and click open. And there it is. Very nice wavy flag. But we're not done yet. Let's make it a little bit more realistic. I'm going to come to my displacement map that I left open and make sure you have your move tool. I'm going to click on the displacement map and hold down your shift key as you drag it over onto the other canvas. So 
Hold down your shift key and drag over and let go. Holding down your shift key puts this perfectly in place on top of the other one. So there is our displacement map, which hides our flag. We can't see our flag anymore, but that's okay. We can come up to our layers palette. Click on your layers drop down here and let's choose overlay. Overlay, and you can see it's overlaid this nicely. The uh, high parts of the flag are highlighted and the low valleys are shadowed out. But the problem is is that we still have this background junk and, and we want to get rid of that. So I'm going to come down here to my flag layer. I'm going to hold down my control key or command on the mat and click on the little flag thumbnail to select just the flag. Then I'm going to come up to the displacement map and select uh, the displacement map and then choose select inverse. So in this case we're selecting everything but that area around the flag. Then just hit your delete key and that's gone. Now we can control D or command D to deselect or you can always go select deselect as well and that's looking pretty good and now what I think I'll do is uh, those highlights are a little too bright I'm gonna make sure I have the displacement map I'm gonna drop the opacity just a little bit uh, and that's looking really nice so you can see the nice shaded areas in the fold and the valleys of the fold looking good and I think I'll add a new, another layer so I'm gonna come down to my layers palette here and add another layer and drag that to the bottom and return my uh, foreground and background color to the defaults by just clicking this little black and white box there and if I do a alt backspace alt backspace will fill that with the foreground color which in this case is black and that looks pretty good I think I'll also try it in white which is control backspace or command backspace you can see it's white but I think I did like it better in black though so alt backspace to fill it with the foreground very nice so we just used a displacement map to create waves inside this flag good and you could also have like a t-shirt and put waves in the t-shirt or some kind of surface area it works great so that's using a displacement map to create waves this is Scott with tutorialstop.com hope you have a good weekend